So, uh, yeah. Hi. So there's just been this weird thing going on with YouTube. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm just trying to get on my phone. Here, I'll show you right now. I have my phone up, and here's YouTube, right? I go in, and it says I'm logged in. Let's say I go to my subscriptions, and it gives me this error loading to have to retry, and I've tried everything. It's not working, so that's why I haven't been posting as much as I do, and I hope you all will understand. So, what are, what are we doing in this video, eh? Um, well... We are doing my top 10 favorite Pokemon. But, Cinderflare, you already did this! Because that list is so outdated. Oh my goodness. Listen, I made that list back when, like, I was, like, not as neutral. But thanks to Pop Leo and Lynn Adventures, there is quite a few changes. And, uh, I just so happen to have the plushy forms of all my top 10 favorite Pokemon. So we are we're not gonna be doing this normally. We're gonna be doing this uh pushy form. So if you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe if you're super generous, and if you like my top tens, they're not that fun to make compared to my other videos, but pushy form, hopefully well. So let's get on with number ten. That's right, it's still Mimikyu. Oh, isn't he in a little adorable one? Mimikyu is just such a unique designed Pokemon. Like, look at this. Look at this face. So basically, I like Mimikyu for the same reasons as I did. It looks cool. It's got an interesting backstory. But look, he's just such an adorable... Uh, and the mysterious behind Pop Leolin Adventures... Hello, guys. I'm going to destroy everybody. It's just such an interesting... Mimikyu hasn't been on the show as much, but Mimikyu is still my, at my spot for number 10. All right, so we're going to do number 9 and 8 together. And those are going to be Groudon and Kyogre. So, Groudon and Kyogre, they're... Um, hold on a minute. Sorry about that, guys. My brother wanted me. Anyways, Groud number 9 and 8 are both Groudon and Kyogre. I just love these guys. Groud Kyogre would be number 9 and Groudon would be number 8 because I like Groudon. But these two are just so funny and popular in adventures. Like, they're always fighting with each other. And they're just such a unique way... Of these legends colliding. I don't have a Rayquaza push. But I, I like these two more than Rayquaza. They're just such a unique. Uh, and their shinies. Oh my goodness. They're amazing. I just don't have their shiny plushes. So that would make number 9 and number 8. Because I always wanted to do them at the same time. Because they're they're just so similar. Stop it. Wait. No. Guys. Please. 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 Wah. 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 Necrozma is number 7. So, Necrozma has only been in one episode, and that is the Christmas special Probably Only in Adventures, which I'm sorry, it was grown, but quality, I'm so stupid. I'm never doing another plushy video, aside from this one, uh, on, for at least Probably Only in Adventures, again, on Chroma Quality. I'm just, I'm sick of it. Anyways, Necrozma is just going to be a, such a new character for this teaser for a story we're doing, featuring around Necrozma. Uh, I'm, it's kind of a spoiler. I'm going to spoil it, I guess. If you don't want to hear the spoilers, skip to about, skip to number, I don't know. what. Actually, no, I'm not going to spoil it. You know what? The Crowsma is such an awesome Pokemon, though. The forms it has, but it, the, what I'm going to do with it in Pablo Little Adventures is just making me really like it. And it, the Crowsma is just a well-designed Pokemon in general. I don't think, I, I used to not really like Necrozma, but definitely it grew on me, especially since the forms. And stuff. It's just such a unique Pokemon. Yeah. What are you doing, huh? Take some raisin cookies. Ah! Oh gosh. Do 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 do. Huh? What's this camera do? Hey! So number six is Sogaleo, and I love my Sogaleo plush. It is just, oh, it's my favorite legendary Pokemon. Sogaleo is just so cool. It's a lion. It's a robot lion. It's not fire type. But, you know, this is just such a new cool Pokemon. It, I love its uh, idea of scratch, scratch, scratching in Pop Leon Adventures. And he's just a pretty good leader in uh, Pop Leon Adventures. Too bad you're not leader anymore. Why is Cinecross the leader? What? Cinecross hasn't really been doing much. He's just been doing the outro and the intro. Oh, my God. Okay, Sogaleo. He's a good leader, too. Uh, but Sogaleo is just so much better than the Krozma. <laughs> oh, no. No, please. Please, please. Go. Oh, stop, 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 stop. 
not not unless you guys like and subscribe the video. These Pokemon are hurting me. Subscribe. So subscribe, please, or like it for my sake. At number five, we have Cyndaquil. And I know I had all three evolutions on my original, but this is my mascot, dude. The reason why it's my mascot is because of this Black Toon Gray journey. It's a pretend. We did our own po pretend Pokemon adventure, and Black Toon was the main character, and one of them at least. And Cyndaquil was his partner, and it became my mascot. And it's just such a fluffy friend. It's a unique ant eater type styled Pokemon. I love it so much, and that's why I made it the leader. And either, even though the leader battle. Yeah, it kind of sucked. Okay, anyways. But this just is such a unique design Pokemon. And he will be there to help Poplio and Lydon with their intros and outros, as Sogaleo said. And he's just a unique leader. And he's, he's he, the flames on his back. They're hot. Shh. Ah, my hand! All right, so number four is going to be kind of weird because I actually don't have the plush for this one. But I do have one of the plushes from its evolutionary line being Rockruff. Rockruff is just... Uh, first of all, I normally am a, cat, am a cat person. Literally. I am a cat person. And, oh my gosh, Rockruff is just the best dog. So, I guess the only good dogs are in the... Whatever. So my favorite Pokemon originally was Lycanroc, but that has definitely changed. Lycanroc is still- so this is what's supposed to be Lycanroc, but I don't have a Lycanroc plush, and I really wanted to make this feel. But Mockruff is just still such a unique character in Pokemon Adventures. Maybe one day he'll evolve, and he'll be, uh, just even more cool. I- I don't know, he might evolve. I love his Mockruff gimmick, and that's actually one of my most popular videos, even though I just did it when I was bored one day. It's just so weird. It's such a unique doggo, though. It's the only doggo I'll ever like. Stupid bulldog. Stupid ruin my family. <laughs> we are getting into the top three. And these top three have to be the most well-designed, amazing Pokemon. And for number three, we have Lydon. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Caden has his own Lydon plush now? I thought Taylor was the one who owned Lydon. And right, you are. I got my own Lydon plush because Lydon is number three. Lydon is just such an amazing Pokemon. It's, it's First of all, you know I said like Rockruff was best dog? No. Lydon's best cat, man. The best cat. Even though I think in Sin Wars... Ugh. 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 But Lydon is just so adorable. This is my own Lydon plush. And uh, believe it or not, Darren got his own pop field plush too. Freaking story. Um, anyways, it's just such a unique Pokemon. I love his design. The fur and the black and the red go so well together. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Number two, number two is the absolute Hallelujah God. Hallelujah God. It is, of course, Rowlet. So you may be wondering if you like my channel. Wait, Terra known Rowlet too. Well, surprise, surprise. I got my own Rowlet plush, and it's like, like, there guys, so lovely plush. Um, it's just such a cool bird. He is the god. He took out a braviary, man. Kakui's braviary. I don't think I could ever see something in a Rowlet taking out a braviary. This is the, this is god, man. He is legs better. Wait, he's only number two. Rowlet. No, don't get angry. You don't like your god as your freaking best Pokemon. Wait. Hold on, Rowlet. There's just got to be one box! Before we get to n number one, I'd like to give some honorable mentions. Leafeon is my, still my favorite evolution. Snivy is such a unique starter. My favorite Unova starter from the region I homelanded in. Pikachu. Actually, nobody likes Pikachu. Litleo's like one of my favorite. I think it might be my favorite, favorite Kalos Pokemon. And that's it for the honorable mentions. So let's get to number one. Number one, number one, number one is Mario! So, of course, number one is Pop Leo. Pop Leo is just such a unique Pokemon. So, I have all three of them. And Pop Leo has just grown from starting Pop Leo and Linen Adventures. It is the best Pokemon, in my opinion. Some people think it's ugly because of the big nose. No, the big nose makes it cuter. Oh my gosh. 
No, no, I have such a good voice for it. I'm not gonna spoil my little route voices. Oh, I have spoilers. Uh, but anyways, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah. So, I love all three. I just, just have made the decision that all three Alola starters, let's, let's pin the cameras on specifically then, are the top three best Pokemon ever designed. I, I, my, I started in Unova, but I can definitely say Alola is my favorite region. I love these trio and probably was just my favorite now and it was honestly this fun top trio was really fun probably what do you have to say oh i'm favorite i'm not favorite what i'm not favorite wait but i like you guys a lot <sighs> all right guys so that would be doing it for this video like i said like it if you liked it and subscribe if you're really generous i just you know <laughs> anyways i just like I, I'm so I'm sorry about the phone issue as soon and as soon as I get as soon as YouTube stops working I will upload the video I've been wanting to upload because I made a video before this and it's just it's not working why won't you talk work I gave it a freaking three star rating on the app store because just it's just not been working for me anyways like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video if you and comment below what your top 10 favorite Pokemon are. I mean, these are obviously the best. And if you don't like these Pokemon, your opinion is wrong and stupid. So, like I said, you know, enjoy your life. Uh, so I, I guess I don't really have an outro. I can do the outro. What? It's time for the end of our top 10. Wait, probably. It's time for the end of the plushie video. Wait, but I, and God should be the favorite Kaden. No, no, please, 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 no!